A moment of pride after years of work. Now that was the largest student-built rocket ever flown. And that was the first space launch on Canadian soil in more than 25 years. And it wasn't carried out by the Canadian Space Agency. It was the work of some students from Montreal. And they did it 700 kilometers north in Cree territory with the help of the local community. We're so super proud to just represent Canada and also, you know, the, the, the Quebec province as a whole in, in aerospace. Here's what it's all about. This is the Star Sailor. It was built for a science competition that started in 2018, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, it was canceled. The desire to complete the project though, remained. Through COVID, you know, students had to, to even test the engine for leaks in their own bathtubs. More than 700 students worked on the project. The 42 foot long rocket weighs about 800 kilograms with fuel and took seven years to build. As for where to launch, the students needed a location far from any populated areas. The students first reached out to the Cree nation of Mississippi to use their land roughly six months ago. And I think we saw it as an opportunity to be a part of that, be a part of something that historic, but an opportunity also to, to collaborate. After getting the rocket on location, it was time to find a launch window. Two attempts were canceled due to unfavorable weather conditions. We've been sleeping in tents for about three weeks, uh, going through freezing rain, snow, uh, crazy winds, uh, huge temperature swings, and being eaten alive by back flies. Uh, we wouldn't be doing this if we didn't love it. But on Friday, August 15th at 5.34 a.m., Star Sailor had what's being considered a successful takeoff. Definitely did not reach uh, space. Um, but still, we, we really think this is a super successful mission, even though it didn't, um, you know, reach the, the goal altitude. Space Concordia members will be studying the data on how high the rocket went, how it disassembled, which parts went wrong, and when. The greatest uh, impact of this launch is maybe not on a fundamental scientific level. Technologically, it's that we are able to do this here. We are able to do this in Canada. It is, uh, it is being done by students. And I hope this message gets heard by everybody around Canada.